SpongeBob SquarePants is no stranger to various interpretations of media. For example, the SpongeBob brand has expanded into merchandise, toys, books, comics, and of course, movies, with the latter drawing three movies starring the titular Sponge and his friends. One of those three movies is upcoming Sponge on the Run, and this is what we are here to talk about today. Before we get started though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be entered into our monthly shout out giveaway. And don't forget to leave a comment down below telling us what your favorite SpongeBob SquarePants episode is. Coming in at number 5 is that unique and expressive art style. In contrast to the film before it, Sponge Out of Water, this film appears to be sporting a new art style which conveys a more expressive side of Spongebob and his friends. The squash and stretch applied to the animation of the models as seen in various trailers for the film allows the characters to express how they're feeling. This is known as visual storytelling and this is a much better improvement in contrast to the second film in my opinion. It is safe to assume that based off this notation, we seem to be in good hands in regards to getting a great Spongebob film next year. At number 4, we have the intriguing story. Despite the show being about a sponge who is renowned for living under the sea, this provides the creators with a foundation to build upon with some crazy yet unique ideas for episodes for us all to enjoy. Likewise with this film, it takes a plot point from one of the older episodes from season 4, Have You Seen This Snail, whereby Gary goes missing and it's up to Spongebob to look for him. While there is some hijinks that ensues during the episode, this also lays the foundation for that particular idea to be expanded upon with new locations to be discovered as well as a whole new meaning in regards to why Gary goes missing. This is a result of the next film coming in 2021, as this film intends on exploring the idea of Gary going missing in a much broader way and expanding on a pre-established idea to create a unique story for us all to enjoy. Another thing to take into account about this film is the characters retain the same motives and aspirations as seen in the actual cartoon. Despite the fact that the late Steven Hilberg, God rest his soul, unfortunately isn't with Nickelodeon to direct Spongebob in the ways he intended. It is important to note how important the original movies of the characters are retained. This allows returning and eager fans to enjoy a unique Spongebob experience, as well as allow people who have never heard of Spongebob to be drawn in as a result of other factors. One of those factors could include the unique and bubbly art style that is present within the new film. As evident by the trailers, we can see how expressive these characters can be in their expressions. This is great as this allows the characters to be emotive in a concise way to the audience and to convey a particular message. The variety of expressions given to the characters ensures that the writers are able to write about what it is the characters are going to be emoting about. This also has a massive part to play in the delivery of the voice lines, as the the vocal range of the voice actors allows for the audience to understand the importance of a scenario. All of this and more is yet another reason to be hyped for the film. Being that Spongebob is a multimedia franchise which has seen itself expand into other forms of media, it is bound to bring a lot of recognition from outside audiences. One of the ways to bring in a wide array of new audience members is to allow for a celebrity appearance. Likewise, the film is seeing the appearance of some notable movie icons such as Keanu Reeves and Snoop Dogg for example, with the former acting as a tumbleweed as we see in the first trailer, and the latter appears in one of the Super Bowl trailers. In regards to what significance Snoop Dogg plays in the new film is unknown, however, rest assured that hijinks will ensue with these notable people in modern day media. The final thing to note is that this film will star the traditional hijinks of the titular Yellow Sponge and his friends. Therefore, there is something for everyone to enjoy, from new, unsuspecting fans, as well as returning fans who are more than eager to experience this long-awaited film. This film has been through development heck, and as a result of the unfortunate circumstances that have occurred this year, and despite all of the doom and gloom, we hope to experience the light at the end of the tunnel with this one-of-a-kind feature film that will be sure to bring a lot of joy to people's faces regardless of whether or not you're a true Spongebob fan. With all that being said, this concludes our list of new details to know about the highly anticipated Spongebob film coming out next year. And if you've made it this far, let us know what it is that you're most looking forward to. And with that being said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.